What is up, everybody? It's Calm Little Buddy here with your Noitsa Minute. Today, the topic is parallel worlds. If you don't know, Noita has a main world that uh, a lot of the activity takes place in. It also has parallel worlds that you can go to. So let's say you've gone through a whole world. You've gotten all the perks. You've, you've searched a lot of places for the wands. You're not quite ready uh, to do something really spectacular. You need to get more powerful. You need to level up, so to speak. You can always go to a parallel world. There are more perks there, more wands, more spells, more hearts, more everything. So just recently I had a, at a point where I ended up on a character that ended up having only 100 health left. And, uh, you know, their, their max health was 500. And I had no healing, and healing bolt wouldn't work because I had concentrated spells and it was hurting me instead of healing me. So I had no way to heal. There was nothing left. No hearts, nothing. Nothing I could do to heal. I said, well, what am I going to do? Well, I happened to look at my character and I had the basic setup that will allow us to get to a parallel world. Now, I'm a lot more powerful in this video, but that's just for uh, ease of showing you the examples of it. Let's take a look and see. What do we need to get to a parallel world? Oh, hold on a second. Yeah, 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 yeah. I tell you what, why don't you, why don't you eat that? Thank you. Anyway, what do we need? We need a source of black holes. We need quite a few of them, actually. And you can see this is a rather large one. Now, of course, this has an always cast on it, which uh, actually makes the black hole make more copies of itself after it goes out. Uh, but anyway, even if this didn't have that always cast on it, that'd be, that's plenty of black holes right there. How many do you need? Depends on how fast your black holes travel, how much distance they can cover, and so on. But you can, you can mess around with this. So we need, in the most basic of basic setups, before we get super overpowered, we need a method of breaking through the wall at the edge of the world, which are these black holes. And we need a way to protect ourselves from the power and the pain of the cursed rock. In this case, I have some handy dandy ambrosia here. You also need a teleport wand. Now, there are other ways to do that, do it, but this is the basic setup. If you have a teleport wand, you have a pretty good supply of black holes or infinite black holes, and you have some ambrosia, you can get to a parallel world. Now, of course, like I said, there are other ways to do it. You could uh, have another source of healing, like a uh, circle of vigor. And that would certainly help you out. Or you could just wing it and try to get through the curse rock as fast as you can if you think you're really, really just super crazy powerful. Watch out, there are bosses in the parallel world air. You just have to be aware of that. We'll talk about that in a second. But in general, this is the basic way. There's other ways to do it, of course. Matasade, which is where you summon all those worms. I'm sure you guys have seen that before. The spell that uh, the bridge boss drops, that'll get you right through, basically, most of the time. All right, so we're going to we're gonna dig. This did not go the direction we wanted it to go in, but hey, let's do this. Ready? There we go. Follow my black holes a little bit. Do, 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 do. This is at the edge of the west part of the world. Ooh. Uh, I'm going to actually dig this out like this. Not sure exactly how far the black hole... Actually, you know what? I probably should shoot another black hole. Well, no, you know what? For, for, for example's sake, we'll do it like this. This will work. So you take your ambrosia, yeah? Now, word of caution. You don't want repelling cape early on if you're going to do this. Because repelling cape will actually make it uh, worse for you. All right, so we're at 44%. I like to get up around 60. There we go. And what we do is we teleport once, twice. Now, notice... Our ambrosia total is not going down because we're teleporting. Don't walk. If you walk, it's just going to make it worse. Okay. Now, teleport. Just watch your ambrosia total. If it gets too low, you splash yourself again. Let's say it was a little too low. We would splash ourselves again. We go, da 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 da. Just a little splash here. Come on. You can do it. There we go. All right. A little bit of extra. And you can stay here as long as you want. The ambrosia is not going to wear off if you don't move. So there's no reason to panic. And look, I can even walk right off of there. See? Easy. Walk right on. Walk right off. So the ambrosia will protect you from the cursed rock. Once you've gotten there. And dig your way back out with some black hole. Now, of course, the better your teleport is, the better off you'll be. Because like I said... In the parallel worlds, up in the sky, you're going to have bosses. See, there's an alchemist, another alchemist. There's also uh, bridge bosses, wand connoisseurs, basically. In this world, there's all sorts of extra orbs that you can pick up. 
again, the orbs do damage to you in the parallel world, so you have to do a little bit of reading on all the fun stuff that goes on in parallel worlds, but essentially, that's the basics of it. And here we are at the mountain. Use our handy dandy little black hole to get us in. Ta-da! And here we are. In a whole new world, just like uh, Aladdin told you. It was true. Hey, let me in. Let me get this heart. Just so I can show you the Holy Mountain in one other super, super important part is when you're in a parallel world, never, ever, ever go through a transporter unless you want to go home to your regular world. So when you've had too much and you feel like giving up of this life, well, hang on, because everybody hurts sometimes. Wait. Anyway. Oh, treasure chest. I do like to kind of just check around in here. Now, I have a... What is that? Eh, no, I don't want that. I have a, like I said, a relatively powerful character here, so, uh, you know, this is easier for me than it would be for, say, somebody with 300 health. But the great thing is, if you have 300 health and no immunities and all that other stuff, when you do get here, you're going to get some more resources to help you out. All right. Blow a hole. Do not go in there. Because, like I said, that will leave you... Leave you crying on your own. And there's our holy mountain. Hop back up. Whole bunch of perks. Whole bunch more wands. And you can refill your black holes once you get here too. So as long as you have enough black holes to get here, and enough health where you don't hurt yourself, It'll be okay. I'm going to just drop this thing out of here. This We'll talk about this in the next video, which is going to be how to do the reroll machine. How to scam the rerolls. But anyway, that's it. You're in a parallel world. You can keep going all the way down. One other final thing is that uh, you can go down as far as the art. Uh, the one just above the art. There is no um, holy mountain below the art because there's no Colmy in parallel worlds. There's other areas in the parallel worlds that don't exist as well. The tree is not there, etc., etc. So... It's, it's a little different, but you can read up on it. But that's the basics of how to get there. So thank you so much for watching, and uh, we'll check you out in the next video.